So in this video we've got brand new universal token division rival packs in the store which we are gonna open we're gonna go and open that 94 to 101 overall tradable pack to see if it is good or not or we can open uh the one that is 96 to 101 overall which is an untradable one i'm still not sure which one i'm gonna open to be honest i might open the 96 to 101 overall player pack but yeah i'm gonna open some other packs but also we've got brand new division rivals update if you don't know there was a maintenance in division rivals for example i think some people some some of the hackers were banned from uh from the game all in all not only from division rivals of course they were banned from the game which is a good thing but i think not all of the hackers were banned right because i've seen i've still seen a lot of people talk about hackers uh playing against hackers in worst attack at what and manager mode not manager mode really but worst attack and head what so i'm hoping they're gonna be banned as well um i am in head what right now i have been playing quite a bit to be fair um at almost 900,000 caps so as you can see i've been playing and i think some of the things were resolved as well for example some gameplay got better and stuff like that there was a gift package that we got as well just because there was a maintenance in division rivals uh for like two hours or so we couldn't really get into our attack had had or manager mode so we did get a brand new gift package which if you don't know was um a 91 overall juniors rank player mashirano right there was a uh, there was a 91 of Overall Mashirano that we all got for free. Let me know down in the comment section if you wanted to see more Mashiranos given for free. But I think even getting one is not bad. By the way, please make sure to like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot. So yeah, I would definitely appreciate that. But let's go ahead and see how many Mashiranos I've got left. I've done a team upgrade yesterday, uh, which was a very, very big team upgrade for me, of course. Um, but yeah, I've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 26, still 26 Mashiranos left. So I guess I can go ahead and uh, rank up some more of my players, but I'm going to leave it like it is for now. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. I also forgot to claim any of the icons in Hall of Legends event. So I'm going to go ahead and claim myself a 97, 98 overall icon, sorry. And it's probably going to be Eusebio, right? Am I going to get anyone else than Eusebio? I don't really think so. Um, Vieira is gonna be a decent choice as well, but yeah, I do have R9 Ronaldo as striker, but I'm still gonna claim uh, that 98 overall Eusebio and put him on the bench, and yeah, gonna go ahead and bring him on when uh, my R9 Ronaldo is tired, of course. So here we go, we'll take it. 98 overall, um, uh, 98 overall Eusebio, Portuguese striker icon. He's a very, very good card as well, of course, right? He's got a very, very good card for 98 overall card, especially 101 pace, 103 shooting, 98, 92 passing, 98 dribbling, 83 physicality. My team overall is 103 after the upgrade, but if I go out and put some of the bench players in my uh, reserves as well, um, it is gonna go down to like 102 or something like that. Guardiola stats aren't really that great right now, just cause I took all the training away from him, of course. But I might go out and bring him, bring him on um, sometimes as well. Eusebio is gonna be there as well. Yeah, my overall is 102 right now, but I'm still gonna put some players on the bench because my players, my main players, are getting tired quite often. Um, at the end, so I'm gonna go and put some of these cards. I think that should be good enough for me. I think that should be uh, good enough. Uh, there we go, not bad at all. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open 3000 gem pack first. Okay, let's go and open this pack first. Yesterday, when I did a team upgrade, I opened this just to see if I could get anyone that was higher overall, uh, higher overall that I could put in my squad as well. And I actually got a 100 overall Casemiro, which worked very, very nicely for me. And he went straight into my squad and I went ahead and ranked him up. That was that was a good one, that, that was quite lucky for me. But I'm still hoping to get someone high overall from this pack as well. Let's see, are we gonna get anyone good? It's Spanish, it's gonna be a right midfielder from Giro. That's Porto, isn't it? That's a 95 overall Porto. That's a bad card right there, that's a very, very bad one. 95 plus was guaranteed, right? Uh, yep, and we've only got a 95 overall, so that pack was quite bad. I'm gonna open this up to 97 overall player pack as well real quickly. We've got 85 and 86 overall Bellingham, um, and I do want to open this. Do I have enough players to open this? I need one more player, actually. I do need one more player. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to open that one. Am I? I'm not gonna be able to open that one right now. So yeah, that's that's quite unfortunate. I did want to open it, but tomorrow, tomorrow when I go ahead and open that pack, 3000 gem pack, and I don't get anyone that great, I can go ahead and uh, put that card in this exchange, I guess. Um, if you go into daily picks, do I have any 96 overalls? I do have 97s that I can put there. Um, let, let me wait. Let me wait. How many? Uh, how many of these market pick tokens do I have? Only 1,200. So I don't need to get more and more of these 
um, daily market uh, daily market picks, market pick tokens to open extra time packs later down the line. Yeah, I'm not really getting many the uh, many of those tokens recently um, because I don't want to waste coins, of course, and I don't really have that many high overall cards. Anyways, that's Madsen. But now I'm gonna go ahead and open that store pack and hopefully you're gonna get someone good. I still don't know which one I should open, you know. Should I open this 94 to 101 overall card just cause it's a tradable one and I've got a chance to get a high overall card and sell him for a lot of coins or should I open a guaranteed 96 to 101? I think I'm gonna take the tradable one, you know. I think I need tradable players. If I get a 101 overall card, 100 overall, 99, whatever, that's gonna be great for me because I can make a lot of coins if I don't, then whatever, right? It is gonna be guaranteed walkout, uh, but give me someone great. It's a Euros card. It's a um, Serbian central attacking midfielder. Man, that, that's not, that doesn't look great. It's Tadic. It's Dusan Tadic right there. 96 overall is about 23 million coins, uh, 24 mil. I mean, I will sell him, I will sell him, but it's not a great pull, really easy. You can also open this pack that costs 1500 universal tokens. I don't really have enough universal tokens right now to open this pack. I'm gonna grind more, I guess, and I'm gonna try to get enough for tomorrow to open this pack as well. But also we can go ahead and get uh, two mushrooms for 1000 of these universal tokens as well. Again, I don't really have enough, but I'm gonna try to grind as much as possible. We can also get a million coins for every single 100 universal tokens here as well, which is not a bad value because for 1000 of those universal tokens, you can get 10 million coins. I don't really think that's that, that's that bad, you know? I don't really think that's that bad. Icon Chronicles, man, I'm not really playing Icon Chronicles. I have not played Icon Chronicles at all, I think, which is not great for me. Can I open any of these packs, any of these uh, quest packs, rewards? Don't really know. I can get 65 to 72 overall player packs. Okay, um, and then anything, um, I can get some more universal tokens actually. How many is that? 100. I mean, that's gonna give me one more Mashirano, I guess. Um, but I'm not gonna claim anything right now. I'm just gonna wait. And if we go into Heroes event again, didn't really play anything in Heroes event, but we can get a free Portuguese player up to 97 overall, which means we can get Cristiano and we did not get anyone. We just got in. Uh, we just got an 85 overall uh, Guerrero, which is not great as well. My team though, my team is looking a lot better and I've seen people say uh, this team is not really gonna reach FC Champion 1. I did reach FC Champion 3 with my old squad as well, uh, which was not not even close to that one. So I think uh, I'm definitely gonna be reaching FC Champion 1 if I go ahead and grind enough. I do I do believe I'm gonna be able to do that, even with this squad, okay? So I'm gonna try to grind as much as possible in the, I think for this season, when when does when is this season ending? In 12 days. Am I gonna, uh, is it gonna be enough time for me to reach FC Champion 1? I'm not sure, it, it depends on how busy I am, but I'm gonna try my best to reach. I'm definitely gonna be reaching FC Champion 3, 1 million caps, definitely, but I'm gonna try to reach uh, 1.2 mil, I think that is for uh, for um, head not not head to head uh, for FC Champion 2. Is it 1.2 mil? I think it is.